Okay, welcome everyone to another one of my Photoshop tutorials. And the tutorial I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do uh, what I call an erase away uh, animation, GIF animation. And we're going to use a timeline. It's going to be a simple frame by frame animation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start with a real simple example. I'm going to open, I'm going to start a new file. I'm going to minimize my timeline there. And uh, we're going to start with the new. We're going to do a 640 by 360, 72 uh, pixels per inch, RGB color, 8 bit background. Contents transparent. And this is something that will fit in your cover photo. This is uh, <coughs> this has that 4 by 3 ratio. So you could put this in a cover photo. You could post it in the stream. You could uh, pretty much do anything you want on Google. Since they support animated GIFs, this is something you can do and just post for fun if you like. So anyway, we're going to get started, 640 by 360. We're going to go to our custom shapes. We're going to do an ellipse. Hold down shift, uh, start dragging it out. Hold down shift and alt, and it will make the size it out from the center. So what I want to do is I want to fill it with some red. And I like my swatches because uh, it's just a little easier. So we're going to show our swatches. We're going to choose a red color. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to click on the shape itself. And <clears throat> we can pull down here and just say red. So it's red. You don't really need a stroke on it. So anyway, just in case, this thing is probably already centered up. But uh, anyway, you can make a new layer. And <clears throat> by choosing both layers, uh, in the, the pointer tool, you can go up here to your line, and you can do it. It's already in the center. So we're in good shape so far. And what I want to do here first is I want to rasterize this vector shape because this can be part of our animated GIF. And I only need really need one of them. So we're going to go to, uh, I think it's under here, a rasterize. I'm going to rasterize that shape. Okay, so we got that done. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do, we want to do another layer here. We're going to fill this with, say, uh, yellow. And fill with foreground color. That's going to be our color. So what we do here is uh, we just uh, get our eraser tool. I like this uh, real round, fat uh, eraser there. Yep. There we go. Back to this. And you just go over here and you just erase part of it. And you copy this layer. You hide the other copy. You erase again, a little bit more, drag down, make another layer, <laughs> hide the previous one, there's more erasing, pull it down like so, hide the previous, erase some more, I mean you can do as many as you like, but I'm probably going to wind up about 12 or 13, I believe that's what I've been doing, <coughs> you can erase some more. And copy. Hide your previous one. Erase a little bit more. Like so. Copy. Hide your previous. There's more erasing. Pull it down. Copy it. Hide your previous work. Do this again. It's a little repetitious, but uh, it's a real simple way to make an animation here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's all kind of snarky things that came to mind that I, I could do with this. I mean, you could get pretty complex. You could involve, a, you know, mass or something. But anyway, it's up to your imagination. I'm just doing a simple example here. But, uh, I mean, there's all kind of uh, devious things I could think of to, to make this out of a, a, a race away animation. So this is the final bit. All right. So we got everything raced away. <clears throat> and now we're going to go over to our timeline. Which I had minimized here. We'll extend this out. We'll say create frame animation. You can go up here, make frames for layers, and I'll show you where uh, what's really critical here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this frame, which will go to the corresponding frame here. I want to make sure the red dot's visible, just to be consistent. Let me go to the next one. And it will go to the corresponding layer and just make sure this is visible. And you do this on all of them. 
just out of the out of consistency. I mean, if you really want to, you don't really have to reveal the dot until it actually shows up. But just for the con sake of consistency, I'm going to make sure it's showing in all the frames, whether or not you can see it. I'll do that. Make sure it's visible, and on the last frame, of course, it's visible. Now, what it is, you wind up here with a duplicate, and you can actually drop this frame out. Pop that in the trash, like so. Now, you just set up your time. I've been doing a, a one second. You can make that faster. You can always go in here into the other and set any speed you want. And just do one second. Or you can have a different amount of time for each one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, the tweening in here, it doesn't really do what I, what I prefer to do. So I just leave it at this to do that, to do this, uh, to do this particular example here. I'm going to have it loop forever. And now you can see it gradually erases it away. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit. We're going to go to half a second. Here, half a second. Right here, all half. This should be a little bit quicker here. So there we go. So it just gradually races away. And of course, you know, you can set any speed you like. So I'm going to stop it. We're going to go to Save for Web. Now I discovered something here when I was, uh, I still got a little garbage here, it looks like. But anyway, I mean, you can go back and clean all this up. Uh, <clears throat> what I've been doing here, you can set a matte color by unclicking the transparency. And you can go over here and pick, you know, some other color you think might, maybe you want the green in there or something like that. Uh, anyway, this particular, uh, when, I, when I post these in a the stream on Google+, Plus, it seems like they look a little cleaner, especially in a stream. Now, when you get it up to your cover, X 640 by 360, it tends to pixelate out a little bit. But anyway, in the stream, it looks really nice, and you get a good, uh, you know, clean, uh, you don't get much pixelation. So anyway, uh, I got a perceptual, as much what I've been picking. So you can go down here, and you can preview it before you post it. And there you go. And so you can say done. And then if you want to keep this file around and maybe change it, uh, maybe it there's something more complex with it, it's always good to save as, and you can save it as, I'll save this as a uh, race away animation example. It's always good, uh, I mean, sometimes I make things I uh, don't want to save them, but if you ever want to go back, you can go back and uh, make changes, you know, change the color or whatever. So we'll just save that as PST. But when you save your PST files like this, and you'd be a, like a, a, a graphics pack rat, and not throwing away any way you any run of your work. What you wind up is when you save this for your web and you save it uh, wherever you're gonna save it. I'm gonna save this on a file called web graphs. It'll it'll have a name. So it'll have a name and it'll be associated with the file you saved originally. So anyway, that's it for this uh, example of how to make a raceway animation. Thanks for watching my tutorials and I'll be making some more as I go along. So have a good day and I'm out of here.